Pineapple Academy makes training and managing learners powerfully simple. This guided tour will walk you through the platform. By understanding a few basic principles, you'll pick it up in a snap, and you'll have access to all the features of the platform. Let's get started. This is the home screen. Any deadlines that have been assigned to your team will display on their home screen when they log into their account. And you can start training right from there by clicking on any of the courses. If a course has been started but is stopped before it's finished, it will appear in the Continue Watching section until completed. Next is the Browse section. There are several key points to note here. Training format, options for browsing and finding courses, and the way you play a course. First, let's look at training format. Group training is for those who are going to lead the training in a classroom type setting, while individual training is geared for self-paced personal training and development. Next, let's look at the options for browsing and finding courses. You can search for a specific course, apply filters to see what's available based on the chosen criteria, or simply scroll through the catalog. You can choose to watch a course from inside a training series or right at the course level. If you click on a series tile, the topics in the series will be displayed. Click See More to view additional details, including any continuing education hours that are offered and all of the documents for the series. Open a topic to see the courses that are available. Then expand a course to reveal the specific details for the course. From here, you can play the course by clicking the green play button. This drawer is also one of the areas where you can download the SCORM 1.2 files from the series level, topic level, or course level. If you choose to click on a course tile instead, the same information is displayed when you click see more. From here, you can play the course by clicking the green play button or download the SCORM 1.2 course file. Next is the My Activity section. This is where you will see your personal progress. Now, let's look at Reports. The Reports section has three areas, Leaderboard, Completions, and Deadlines. First, let's look at the Leaderboard. The Leaderboard is where you can see the number of points each user and each team has earned. There are many applications for this, but it's up to your organization to decide the best way to utilize this feature. Now on to completions. The completions area is where you can see your team's course completions, both in a graph and in a list. You can export the course completions report in a CSV file by clicking the green button. The last report is for deadlines. The information is displayed in a graph and a list. By hovering over the graph, you can see the status details. Below the graph is the list of incomplete deadlines, and any completed deadlines will appear at the bottom of the page. The last stop in this tour is the admin section, where you can manage teams, users, admins, and download SCORM 1.2 files. The team section is where you can create subteams, edit a team, restrict content, set deadlines, and delete a team. You can also manage members of a team here. The user section is where all the students are listed and can be edited. This is also where you go to invite new students. The admin section is for managing and inviting admins to help manage students and reporting. If you are using an external LMS, SCORM 1.2 files can be downloaded here. The files are listed alphabetically by title and the type of file is also displayed. You can choose specific files or select all of them at once, then click download. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us for this tour. Now you're ready to explore Pineapple Academy training for yourself.